Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session. So the first part of the session we're doing sitting down, and the second part of the session we are doing on the ground. So the first one, I want you to feel that you've got your feet and your legs hip width apart. And what I want you to feel is that you are actually, sorry, I'm just gonna sort out my legs, that you are aligning your hips, not your feet or your knees. So have a quick look on your hips and make sure that your hips are on the same line and then you are sitting on your sitting bones. So if you need a little bit of a padding underneath one of the, the, the hips, that's fine. So that we are centered and equal here, okay? Now, if you are wearing your prosthesis, you're gonna have both on the ground. Otherwise, if you're not, that's okay. Again, just make sure that you will wear something underneath that you've got that leveled pelvis, okay? And then if you're not, you're gonna work with single leg only, that's fine. And with the things that we are doing with the thighs, you can work as then we're gonna be working on the hip flexors to get the hip flexors nice and strong. We're gonna start here. And all you're going to do, you're going to lift both heels up and then down and up, nice and tall, down and three, drawing the navel in, and four, and five, and six. Here, when you're doing this, when you're up, try not to allow the heels to go sideways, okay? You want the heel to go right up and you're not falling into the little toe or the big toe. And then one more. Okay. Then you're going to place your hands on your tummy. You're going to breathe in and feel that expansion around the rib cage. As you breathe out, draw your tummy in, empty your lungs, soften your ribs, and see if you can feel that connection across your back. And breathing in. And again, as you breathe out, feel that a whole abdominal corset connecting and you're pulling up on that pelvic floor, staying nice and tall and lifted away from your pelvis and away from your legs. And inhale, so the whole of the abdominal corset is working as you exhale and bring it in. Okay, now we're gonna change the breath to the top half. You're going to inhale, and this is a breath that will gently lift the chest. And exhale, return again, feel the ribcage softening and drawing your abdominals in and lifting that pelvic floor. Inhale, lift up here. Deep breath into your chest and into your tummy. Exhale down, empty your lungs. And again, inhale. That's it, feel the whole thing expand and exhale, return. Good, now keeping that length, we're going to open up the legs. So now they're a little bit wider, so it's easier for us to work on the hips. And what we're going to do, you're going to inhale and lift and you're going to feel that arch. Exhale, we go over and Shoulders are still over your hips. And inhale, we open up. Exhale down, empty your lungs. And inhale, opening up. And exhale down. And opening up. And down. Two more, and open up, and down, and again, inhale, lift, nice and tall, careful not to throw the head back, the back the head is nice and long, and then down, let's find your center, restack your spine. Now we're gonna go with the hands, you're gonna hands in, so now gently, very gentle, lymphatic system working here. Inhale, exhale, and in, and four, and five, and six. 
good. Now from there, we're going to turn the legs in and legs out. So from the hip and out. And three and four and five, that's it. And six, great. Stay there. Now we're gonna put everything together, the movement of the hips, the movement of the hands and the movement of the rib cage with the breathing. So you take a breath in, open up. As you breathe out, go in. Bring the hands up, inhale. Exhale, empty your lungs. Open the hips and up. And three. And up, and four, and up, and five, and up, and six, and up. Good. Now find again your sitting bones, find your center, nice and tall and now hands on your hips and we're gonna move the pelvis so you're going to go so trying to tailbone towards and away from the sitting bones so we're going towards and away like this but on the chair itself so we are again freeing up the hip joint freeing up the hips and allowing your spine to move as it wants to move And then we reverse. One side is always a little bit harder than the other. Okay, see, go bit by bit and slow down or make it slightly quicker. See what feels good for your back and for your hips. Okay, and two more. That's it. And now nice and tall. Now we bring one hand behind your head, the other hand press into the ground. And now we're gonna stretch. You're gonna inhale, we do three each side. Inhale, you're gonna open as if the rib cage is a fan and it opens up. Exhale, use your beak. Oh, I don't know what that was. And inhale, open up. And exhale, return. And three, and then return. Good, and then switch sides, nice and tall. Inhale, open. So open that rib cage. Exhale, return. And again, reaching out and away, and return. And again, out and away, opening up. Great, and return and relax. So now bring the legs back into your center and we're going to go into our hand. So the heel of the hand is gonna, that's it. And then turn out and then heel of the hand. We're gonna repeat this later on at the end of the session. And out and reach and out, that's it, really reach. So this is really good if you spend a lot of time on the computer or the phone, then we spend a lot of time going like this. This is a very good exercise, okay? Now we're gonna go as if you're going into a swimming, you're gonna go, so from there, you're gonna go open up, inhale, exhale down, and inhale up. Exhale down, and three, and four, reaching forward, and five, good, and six, great, and then bring it in. So hopefully now the top half feels a lot more loose and a lot more connected. Now we're gonna come back to the bottom half, Okay, before we stand up to go down to the ground. So now we're going to move through the hip flexors. Okay, you're gonna lift and then lower. Stay nice and tall, lift and lower. And three and lower, we do six on each side. Four 
and lower and five and lower and six and lower other side and up and lower and two and lower and three and lower nice and tall four use your breath to help you and five and six great again sitting on that sitting ball and now we extend the legs so working on the quads one down two three four five six that's it if the quad cramps it's okay just give it a little shake okay or the hip flexors, just shake your legs a little bit. And then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great, from there, nice and tall. You're only going to do this the way I'm doing if you feel really comfortable with it and you are feeling very secure. Otherwise, you're going to stand up the way that you normally stand up. Okay, if you feel that you're secure on your legs, you're going to bring the legs closer to your hips, hands down. You lean forward on that flat back, transfer the weight into your legs. You take your arm forward, so that's gonna help you. Breathe in as you breathe out, press, and lift and then bring it down. And now we're gonna go into our roll downs. So you're gonna bring the feet hip width apart and you're gonna breathe in as you breathe out. Drop the chin down, soften your knees and you're gonna roll down. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, roll up. Head, neck and shoulders are the very last thing to come up. And up. And again, we roll down one more time. That's it. And then up. And stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, rolling up. And up, and again, nod, and then bend, and roll down. Stay the breath in. As you breathe out, we roll up. And we're gonna do one more and then nod your head, soften your knees and we roll down. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, press the feet down, connect to the inside thigh and we roll up, 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 up. And up to, that's it. So now, it's up to you how you're gonna go to the floor. You can roll down and then, so find a, a way that you can lie down on the ground now. And we're gonna go into our back and glute work. So, and again, I will keep my chair here just in case I need to show. Um, so we're gonna start lying down on your side. So you lie down on your side, your bottom leg is bent and your top leg is extended. Now we're going to lift that top leg. You try to pass the hip a little bit and then lower down as you exhale. Inhale, reach so the waist is nice and long and down. And three and down. 
and four, and down, and five, and down, and six, length on the hip, out and away, seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Now bring the two legs one on top of the other. And now again from the hip, careful that you don't allow the hip to move. You're going to inhale to open, feel the opening of exhale, draw the tummy in and close. And two, close. And three, close. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Now you're gonna open. If this if this is too much for your glutes, you just do another ten uh, uh, climbs. Otherwise, you're gonna lift in this position. One, and touch down. Two, touch down. Three, keep using your abs to help you. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down, and down. Good. Just give it a little. That's it. And now we're going to bring the legs at 90 degrees. Now, re here, what it tends to happen is that the, the hips, they curl this way. You want to send your tailbone away as if you're sticking your bum out a little bit. And now we're going to keep the leg at 90. So heel, knee, knee, hip. And we're going to lift and then down. So lifting in and keep it the two and down. And three and down. Good. And four. This is the last one that we're doing here. Five. So I know the glute. Six. Use your breath. Six, draw the abs in. Seven, eight, nine, ten, down. Hug your knee and gentle stretch. So you really give that glute a little bit of a stretch. That's it. And now let that leg rest on the floor and you extend the bottom leg. So now we have the inside thigh. We lift the bottom leg up, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold it there, little pulses there, up one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then down. Good. From there, let's bend both legs forward at 90 degrees. Take both arms forward. And now we do the arm openings. You're going to inhale. You're going to open and follow your arm with your head. That's it. And exhale, return. Inhale, open up. Exhale, return. And re and return. And four and return. And five and return. And six. And return. Great. Now, carefully, you're going to turn to the other side. So, extend the top leg and bend the bottom leg. Really reach the waistline, lengthening out and away. 
And now drawing your tummy in, you're going to lift that top leg up. One, exhale, draw the navel in. And two, draw it in. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and down. Bring the two legs together. Again, lengthen, send the hips out and away. We're going to inhale to open, keeping your hips stable. Exhale, close. Two, close. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Hold it there if you can. Then you lift, otherwise, you just do ten more clams down. Two, down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, down, and down, good. Now from there, let's bring the legs forward into that 90 degrees. This is the last one on this side, on this set. And remember, we lift the leg up and lower, parallel, two, and lower. Keep sending your tailbone away, three, and lower. Really getting the glutes, four, <laughs> lower, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Good. Bring it in, hug your leg, and give it a little stretch on that glute. Now, from there, extend the bottom leg and bend the top, and we lift one, lower, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We hold it and we lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Good. From there, let's bring the legs together and the arms forward and we go into our arm opening really opening up the chest inhale and spiral round exhale return and again two and return and three and four reaching out and away Five, and again, and six, and return. Brilliant. Now we're going to lie on your tummy to work on the back. So we're going to have our cobra position. So the hands are on the floor, the elbows are on the floor, and your legs are a little bit wider than your hips. And the forehead is down. Now, think of widening your collarbones and you're going to inhale and you're going to lift your torso up just a fraction of the floor as you inhale and your head stays in line with your chest, with your spine, sorry. Exhale down. And inhale, lift. That's it. Keep looking down to the ground. You don't want to shorten the back of your neck. And then down. You want the back of your neck nice and long. And three. And down and four and down lengthen out and away five and six and seven and 
eight, nine, and ten. And down. Now we bring the hands close to your chest and your elbows are lifted now. So lift your elbows so you can send the elbows towards each other. So you're gonna feel that that's gonna work between your shoulder blades and open your chest. And it's the same thing, you're gonna inhale, lift the torso, keep your head in line with your spine, keep looking down to the floor, keep looking, that's it. And then down. So the back of your neck is long. Up and down. And three and down and four and down and five and down and six and lengthen out and away keep lengthening through the crown of the head and eight and nine and ten and down now from there push back and then you can go either into child's pose or you're going to go on all fours and we're going to go into cat and if you are on a chair you can do cat sitting so we can do cat sitting on the chair as well so from there find your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips and you breathe in as you breathe out you're going to tilt your tailbone towards the navel chin into your chest and you're going to press the hands down and curl stay there breathe in as you breathe out lengthening crown of the head away from your tailbone and back to neutral stay there breathe in as you breathe out curl press your hands into the ground feel the connection between the arms the rib cage the abs and curl stay there breathe in as you breathe out lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone and again and curl Empty your lungs. Stay there, breathe in. As you breathe out, lengthening out and away. Good. Now from there, slowly, you're going to come into a um, standing position. So just find the best way for you to stand up. And we're going to finish off standing up. So from there, let's have the legs nice and wide. And we're going to put everything together. So from there. Some days it works. Sometimes. Nice and wide. And we're going to kind of do uh, put all the movements together. So you're going to go into that swimming movement again. So you're going to go out. So you're going to go down and bend your knee and contract. And then we're gonna open up. And then exhale. Inhale, open up. Exhale, push it out. Heel of the hand away from your back and open. And again, push just reach and inhale open two more and down and inhale open good as if you're swimming that's it and one more i know the hand is on the foot and then out good now from there we're gonna stay there take one arm up and we're gonna go open again and one. This time you can go a little bit further because you're standing and up. Now, when you go over, careful that you don't shift your, so, cause we don't want the glutes to 
collapse. You want the glutes to stay connected so you feel you might not go as far, but it's okay, but you should feel a better stretch there. And then open. And one more. And reach. And then let's change sides. And again, so keep the glutes connected and reach, stretch, and up, and stretch, and up, and one more, and up. Bring it back into parallel and hip width apart. And then from there, go on to one. So you want to use your toes. Again, choose if you're going to do with both or if you're going to do single. But whatever you are doing, when you do this, you don't want to sink. Okay? So as the same thing that we were doing sitting, you can do with both or you can do just single, just do it on the same foot all the time. So you want to feel that the, you can even look down and make sure that the, your heel stays in line and it's not falling. So you're not dropping into that little toe. And stay, find that connection that we've been working on. Up and up, down and up and down. Good. From there, take a deep breath in. Look up towards the ceiling. Feel nice and tall. Now align the crown of the head to your breastbone, to your belly button, between your legs. Find your center, release and relax your shoulders. Find the connection of your feet with your center. Stay there, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, stay tall and then let it drop. Good, well done, thank you. Thank you, good. Thank you so much. Really good, thank you.